to moose. I want to talk about one more technique, uh, Don Reno style, and I really don't know if he did this or not, but I kind of some of some of these um, patterns and stuff uh, um, that I use. Uh, I'm using a combination of the brush. You can think about it. Is you remember we started out with the thumb index. Another way to get more speed that helps me anyways is when doing some of these but like like this lick I, I know you don't know it yet is to use the combination of brush and index instead of thumb index well it still is the thumb you're, you're strumming down and then picking up with your index okay so it's strong index and depending on where the melody notes are going to be is, is going to be dependent of course on what strings you, you which strings you're going to use but but anyway again another thing to practice is strum index. So I'm strumming the first two strings and then picking up on the second string open. And again my hand is still muting that bridge. Now it's not muted. Now it is muted. And again that creates great effect uh, with the right hand. So again, is to build up speed that slowly at first, again. So we can play again this, this lick that I did. Or any pattern we like. such a master that he he would switch in and out of these techniques single string and these brushing techniques really to great effect in his playing and what he was playing so recognizable so there's some techniques to get you going in this style and we're going to uh, explore more things with this style um, we're going to go back to a little bit of theory and explain where these Again, coming back to melody notes, picking out the melody notes and using these uh, strums and uh, picking patterns to, uh, to help you out in, uh, in the Reno style, I hope. So we'll see you next time, everybody.